today we celebrate the installation of the 10th General Minister and President of the United Church of Christ, the Reverend and Dr. Karen Georgia Thompson. The very first woman to be elected into this office. <laughs> In addition to that, she is our first immigrant general minister and president of the United Church of Christ. And on top of that, a descendant of formerly enslaved people to lead this church. As we would say in Jamaica, what a thing! What a thing! God has called into leadership. Let us all commit to work with her, to be at her side, as together we seek to be a faithful church. And if God be for us, who then, who then, dare stand against us. Thanks be to God. With the staff of the national setting present, please stand. Take a look, Karen Georgia. We are your team. On behalf of the National Setting Staff, I present you with this custom clergy stole, uniquely designed for you. You're doing it again. I'm not at that part yet. <laughs> the symbols on this stole represent some of what matters to you and has shaped your journey. There are references to your homeland and your present home. References to ministries of presence and advocacy that you hold dear. Symbols that remind you of the wisdom shared with you by your parents. The cardinals. I'm talking about the cardinals right now. <laughs> I'm getting to the other part. <laughs> and on the inside panels, <laughs> images of your beloved parents who we know accompany you from that great cloud of witnesses just beyond the veil. It is our prayer that you will feel the strength and support of all of us that God has called you to lead. As God calls you forth, for such a time as this. It is so, and may it be so. We come representing the global ecumenical family to pray for peace for the world, the church, the ecumenical partners, and all people. The wisdom of the board and the power of the spirit have kissed each other and affirmed a prophet, hallelujah. This is what Jesus prayed for in John 17, that they might all be one. Let me invite the rest of the conference ministers to please rise. Karen Georgia, in partnership with you, we covenant this day to seek the other's greatest good in our relationships with one another and to hold in holy reverence the divine light within each and every one of us. Over a year ago, when my mother told me she was gonna apply for this job, I was excited and I thought rightfully so. When she told me she was nervous and she wasn't sure if she could get the job or if she was ready, there was no doubt in my mind because her story is my story. I didn't know in those moments what she was being prepared for, but when that moment arose, I knew she was uniquely qualified to be general minister and president. I am beyond proud to introduce my mother, your general minister and president, 
Reverend Dr. Karen Georgia Thompson. Reverend Dr. Thompson, seeing that you are called to this ministry by the grace of God, are you willing to enter this covenant with the members of the United Church of Christ, its national setting, conferences, associations, and local churches? I am willing by the grace of God. You have been called to serve the church faithfully as teacher, preacher, and prophet administering the duties of the Office of General Minister and President. Will you do this? I promise to serve the church faithfully, preaching and teaching the word of God, and fulfilling all the responsibilities of this office according to the grace given by God and the faith and order of the United Church of Christ. This is a historic moment. This is a holy moment. And so now, as the Reverend Karen Georgia Thompson, our minister and president, kneels as a servant of God. This is a time for us to bless her, to pray with her and for her. And so I'm gonna ask clergy would you come forward, surrounding her, laying on of hands as a sign of our support and commitment. Oh, gracious God, creator God, bless her now, consecrate her, anoint her as your beloved daughter, called by your name, redeemed by your blood, sanctified by your grace. This is your daughter, Karen Georgia Thompson. And she will now be our pastor, our prophet, our poet, our leader. And so work in your wonder working power through her. May your name be glorified. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. What a day, what a moment, what a celebration. I mean, the embracing of a new church, a new direction, I feel like everything is new today. And having our first woman, not only our first woman general president, but our first immigrant woman general president. I just wanna to say to Karen Georgia, thank you for saying yes to God's call. We are praying for you, we are supporting you, and we're looking forward to the new thing God's gonna do through you and with you for the United Church of Christ. Karen Georgia is warm, Karen Georgia is firm, Karen Georgia has vision, Karen Georgia has insight, Karen Georgia has this, this soft, um, spirit-filled side, and she has the voice to call us forward. As an African-American gay preacher, ordained minister in the United Church of Christ, it brings me great joy to have um, brought on board and in duly installed, newly installed, just installed, the Reverend Dr. Karen Georgia A. Thompson. Uh, she is a product of the Southern Conference, so we knew her. I worked with uh, her when she, during her time at Central, North Carolina Central uh, University, and I knew her and the family uh, and welcomed her call into the ministry, and then I welcomed her call uh, to do this gracious work with our beloved conference and association and now the national setting. Well, I, I'm so pleased that she's in this position. She's a fine human being, a fine person, and she'll make an outstanding general minister and president. So we couldn't be more pleased and so pleased to be here and to see all of you after all these years. So God bless you all. I have known Karen Georgia um, since the, she was in the Florida Conference on Disaster, doing the Disaster Ministries role at the Florida Conference, and um, was thrilled when she came to the national staff. And we've been friends for a very, very long time. Um, I was so proud and excited when she became the um, Associate General Minister of Wider Church Ministries, and 
thrilled for her that she's the, the general minister and president. Um, she has uh, impacted my life, just her motto and dedica of dedication, courage and tenacity to um, step into this role to lead uh, such a large body um, in unprecedented times as, as we are facing now. Um, again, um, I'm, I'm excited to be a young um, black man just excited to see you uh, take uh, step into this position i support you um, and again whatever you need um, each of you is here wow karen georgia we have got a lot of history together and we've seen a lot of incredible things happen within the ministry of the united church of christ thank you so much for letting me be part of your journey and i look forward to seeing what god does as you now take leadership as general minister and president I was so honored to be part of your installation service, and I appreciate the trust that you place in me and our tech crew in being able to put together a program that is shared widely within the UCC and beyond. God bless you, and God bless your ministry. Karen Judge, and this is Mother Yvonne. It was 1989. And I stood on the floor of the General Senate and placed my name, offered my name as a candidate for the General Minister and President of this church. It was not to be for me, but I am so grateful that God let me live to watch that come into fulfillment to this day. When you stood as our General Minister and President, my heart was filled with such joy. Whatever you need in terms of a mother in this place, know that my heart goes to you. I thank God for you. I thank God for letting me live to see a moment that was not for me, but for you. Thank you all. Thank you. I wish I could call every last one of your names and tell you thank you. But know that as I look around and I see your faces. I have stories about all of you that I can't tell in this moment. <laughs> Be happy about that. <laughs> and now as we leave this place, we leave filled with the presence of God that has been poured out among us, in us, and through us. And may the work that lies ahead be ministry and mission that we understand that we do not do alone, but with the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. And I see you. I'm going to ask for the registration list because I'm going to be calling you. <laughs> we have work to do and we are ready. And as we leave this place, may the presence of God and the peace of the Holy Spirit journey with us now and always. May it be so and let the people say amen. <laughs>